guys, welcome to the speed build video in The Sims 4. My name is Irene and today I am building my sunken jungle, aka my secret hidden underground jungle house. <laughs> Of course, I'm not totally sure about that second part, but it's a sunken jungle, several levels deep into the earth with a lot of plants and waterfalls. And at the very bottom of this sunken jungle, at the pit, very bottom of the pit, that doesn't sound that luxurious, but at the very bottom of this sunken jungle, you can find a luxurious house. I got inspired to do this build by one of my own builds actually. I did that cracked earth underground house several months ago. I made a cracked earth with the same method that I'm using here and in that crack in the earth I made an underground house. And yeah, I wanted to do something like that again. It's so totally different though, this one. But normally I always build high up in the air, several levels high, like on cliffs or on mountains. Or like my previous video, that space shuttle, the post-apocalyptic space shuttle. But of course, this is deep into the ground and that's a totally different game, totally different style of building. So I just wanted to do an underground house again. In this build there's a lot of repetitive work, so I will cut a little bit here and there in the build process, but I think you will not notice it that much. For example, I already did that for that massive white line, that circle all around that crumble down dome that I will make. I used a rock as a template for it and I used that white um, table, white side table, the pristine pedestal it's called from Get Famous uh, and placed them all next to each other to create that circle. And I just made all these rooms here and in that way I could create that pattern up on the dome. I'm building this on this 50 by 50 lot right now. This is one of my favorite lots. It's a lot in Sulani, the world that came with the island living pack. But I just didn't have enough space here. As you can see, I had enough space here for just the circle, the dome. But I wanted to do a little bit with the environment surrounding this sunken jungle as well. So I will switch to another lot later on. I had uh, in the back of my mind these games, Drake Fortune. I don't know if you know these games, but you always have ruins in the jungle in the game or ruins in the desert and this is the more luxurious version of ruins in the desert though but i had that in my mind so i wanted to do more with the ground all around this sunken jungle so i will change it to a 64 by 64 lot in a couple of minutes and after that i will change again to another lot it was kind of a process <laughs> I changed, I will change to the 64 by 64 lot in El Salvadorada first because I thought yeah it's a jungle build you know so it will fit in the jungle world but yeah I realized especially when I placed all the plants in and everything in the jungle that I wanted to have sand all around this build like it was a sunken jungle or a sunken oasis more in the middle of a desert and the color of that white sand that I will use later on just looked way better in Windenburg, totally different world on that 64 by 64 lot on the island there. So I will end up there, but for the whole process for this build, it doesn't make that much difference. I just I wanted to have more space because I wanted to build uh, some water around this sunken jungle as well and some ruins and some rocks here and there but of course yeah you can all see that in this video but first yeah I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what happened last night oh no <laughs> a new pack got announced last night a Star Wars pack for the Sims Journey to Batu. And man, oh man, there were so many opinions about that. It got announced during opening night live. Was a live show uh, for Gamescom. Normally you have a convention, like a trade fair in Germany at this time. Gamescom it's called. 
But of course, because of COVID, uh, it's, uh, it got cancelled. So they made it into an online event. And the opening for that online event was yesterday. And during an hour, two hour long show, they announced a lot of different games, trailers. But they announced yeah, the new game pack for The Sims as well. The Sims 4 Star Wars Journey to Batu. And man, <laughs> so many opinions. The community, community got totally divided. Or actually, when you watch the trailer of it on YouTube, the dislike-like ra ratio. So many people disliked the trailer. So I wanted to share my opinion about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but I'm actually very, very excited about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm even wearing my baby Yoda t-shirt right now. Um, of course, when you take a look at my previous builds, like my space shuttle and the one before that, my space rings and I did a lot of concept art like builds, a lot of fantasy builds. So for me, it's it's a good pack. We have new options, I think, when it comes to futuristic builds. I wanted to have a space pack. I like Star Wars. So yeah, I was actually very happy about it, but I totally get the people that are not happy about it. Every once in a while there's a community vote, so we can vote as a community, as a Sims community, for the next pack. And the first voting was for a laundry pack, so we can do laundry in the game. Uh, the laundry pack won, and uh, just the previous pack was a community voted pack as well, and it was about knitting. So when the community speaks up, they want realistic packs, like a knitting pack and a laundry pack. So I totally get that a lot of people don't see the need to travel to a planet or a galaxy far, far away in their game when they just want to play with their family. So yeah, I totally get that a lot of people don't, yeah, don't like it that much. Like I said, for me, just as a pure builder, um, I'm not playing game just as a sim that much. Yeah, I'm so happy with new first style items. And I think a lot of the new items, we only saw a glimpse of the build and buy items in the trailer though. But I, what I saw, I think we can use that for more steampunk, steampunk style build as well. More industrial style builds maybe. So yeah, but there were a lot of opinions about it. And I especially saw on Twitter, a lot of people were mad about it. And the response on these people was, why do you get so mad about a game? And that's not good to say too, because in my humble opinion, of course, because yes, it's just a game, but you don't want to know how many hours I just spent a week in this game. And there are a lot of more people that are spending hours and hours and hours every week in this game. So I think that's why tensions were that high. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm very excited about it. Let me know what you think about the pack in the comments down below, of course. But yeah, it's coming very soon, Tuesday in a week, not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that. So yeah, I, I can't wait, to be honest. But let's go back to this build. There's already so much more done here. Um, as you can see, yeah, I'm sorry. I just wanted to, to share my opinion a bit about it. I hope you guys don't mind. As you can see, I already made a huge chunk of the jungle here. I made these pools in the basement with several pools deeper as well. I used these spraying emitters. I had used the large jet spraying emitters. I used them on the sides here and there to create a waterfalls. And of course, I used a lot of steam crates in this build again too. I got some questions about how I make look, water look realistic in my builds. And yeah, for me, the, yeah, the easiest way to make, look, make water look more realistic in your builds is to use these steam crates on the ground. So I use them a lot in this build here as well. And of course, a lot of jungle plants everywhere. I use obviously a lot of plants, these hanging plants on the sides. 
they are all all from the jungle adventure pack but i use a lot of plants and trees from the island living pack as well i already switched to that other lot can you see it here we already switched to that windenburg lot that's 64 by 64. I thought just the overall look of this build with white sand all around it, the green sunken jungle and the water just stood out way more than when I had that green color all around this build. So that's why I switched. Oh, and this part, what I'm doing here, and I will cut in the building process in a couple of seconds, I think. But this part, placing these stone fences on all these lines, on the yeah, kind of roof of this sunken jungle. Oh man, it took me, I think, three hours or something. I'm using this debug item for it, this stone fence, jungle adventure stone fence. I use it a lot in my builds as well. Yeah, I just cut, cut there. Did you see it? Oh, it took me so much time. Of course, I could place just a normal fence over there as well. We even have a fence that is almost the same as these stone fences that I just placed in just one by one. But on every single angle, I had that, yeah, it was just looking that good. I just wanted to have these stone fences on the top of this sunken jungle. Oh man, it took me, took me so, 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 so much time. But uh, I was talking about the plants. I use a lot of plants uh, from um, Jungle Adventure, of course, but I use a lot of plants uh, from Island Living as well. And I thought it would be a cool idea to yeah, just make everything green with a lot of plants, but to have a pop of color as well. So I placed a lot of these red flowers in this build too. And they actually came with Romantic Garden. I never used that pack in my builds, but there were gorgeous red flowers uh, with that pack. So I used it in this build. So we're into the interior right now at the very, very bottom of this sunken jungle. We have this luxurious house. Color scheme in this house, a lot of dark woods, a lot of white and a lot of pastel colors, pink and a little bit of peach color. I love these colors together. Maybe you're wondering now, how do I enter this house? I did place it, it was in the video, but it was very, very short. I made letters. Yeah, underground letters at the very side of this build. Of course, I will put this build up on the gallery so you can use it in your own game if you want. I play tested it. It's a fully functional. You can just enter this build. And yeah, I made these stairs to enter this build really hidden because it's a hidden secret house, if you will. But I still wanted to go for this luxurious style of a house. Of course, I could go for more dungeon feel with a lot of dirt and, and rocks everywhere. But of course, I just did my post-apocalyptic space shuttle build. And as I love building in that style during that build, but I wanted to make a luxurious house over here in just my own taste. So I used a lot of items from the, the oh yeah, eco lifestyle. I was so, with that Star Wars pack in my mind, I totally forgot about Eco Lifestyle. I used a lot of Eco Lifestyle items in this interior again. Like these hanging shelves I just placed there on the wall. And yes, I did it again. I pointed to my screen again. <laughs> like you can see it. But yeah, these, um, these shelves. And I used a lot of these hanging plants again in this build. Yeah, I talked about them during my um, Ocean Cliff Dream House. I use them so much in that build as well. I just love that item and it's fairly new. So I think I will use it a lot in the next couple of weeks. And after that, I think I'm just done with it. But yeah, it was my favorite item that came with that nifty knitting pack. And I thought it was very fitting for this build as well. And like I said in that video, that Ocean Cliff Dream House build, I always think it gives the build a little bit more dimension when you hang things on the ceiling, like lamps and like these plants as well. 
These rooms are very high, as you can see. They're the tallest level height. That's because I wanted to make this sunken jungle really deep into the ground. So that's why all these rooms are so high. I think this room is one of my favorite rooms in the entire build. Maybe the kitchen too, the very last room that you can see. But this room, the bathroom, of course, and I saw, I think a couple of weeks ago on Twitter, a, a thread about what's your least favorite room to build where you're building. And a lot of people were saying, yeah, the bathroom, it's always the same. Well, I love building bathrooms in my builds. Um, I always wanted to have own very luxurious bathroom, almost spa-like bathroom as well. And it's not possible now, so I love coming up with different dream bathrooms for myself. So I did it over here as well. With a double shower, of course. And of course, throughout this entire house, this entire interior, we have pools everywhere that I made into that sunken jungle. So when you're lying in your bed here, because it's the bedroom, you can see the water too. I wanted to go for all these big windows and these pools because otherwise you're so deep into the ground and I think it can feel like a dungeon deep in the ground. So I wanted to have a lot of windows so there's a lot of light coming in of course. This is the bedroom like I already said. I used this bed again. I used it so much in my builds. I love that bed. It's just so... Yeah, it's simple but it's white, plain white and you can do so much with it you can make your own custom beds with it very easily like i did over here too i use these yeah, cabinets from uh eco lifestyle yeah from eco lifestyle and the side tables from spa day at the back with the shelves from eco lifestyle again and in that way i could make this custom bed so we're onto the kitchen right now, the last room in this house. And yeah, then we're on the end of this video already. I'm very curious what you thought about it. Please let me know. Um, if you have a request for me to build again, please let me know as well. I say that every single video, but I love getting requests from you guys. Sometimes I just have something else planned, but sometimes I really get inspired from these requests from you guys. So if you want something um, that I'm building, please let me know and I will take a good look at it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. You would make me super, super happy. I would really, really appreciate it. I try to do a lot of different things with my builds, uh, different styles, different building techniques in that way. I wanted to keep you yeah, inspired for your own builds or maybe just like watching speed build videos then you are of course very welcome over here as well well if you're watching this on the day when i upload this i hope you will have a good weekend when you're not watching this on the day when i upload this i hope you will have a good weekend too of course or an amazing day i hope to talk to you next tuesday during my next video like i said have a good day goodbye